Oh. Wait, I'm so dumb. Okay, I have flame cleanse me and flame get, give me strength. That makes a lot more sense. Also, this is my favorite place. Also, I'm just realizing this is probably really dark for you guys. Um, and yeah, see, 87 hours. Kind of nuts. But again, to be fair, most of that... Oh my god, why does it look so garbage? And there we go. This is my favorite spot. Um... You know what? Damn it, I knew I was facing the wrong direction. <laughs> ah, nice and comfy. Alright, um... Let's see... Oh yeah, this weapon is actually kind of sick. Oh wait... Wait... I don't get it, why can't I use it? Oh, is it because I'm in here? That's kind of crazy. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm sure there's a weapon that I want to use right now. You know what? I think... I don't have enough intelligence. Oh, okay, this one needs strength, that's why. Dude, that's kind of crazy how much of a... How much I put into Dexterity and Arcane. But that's to be fair, because like that's just what my build was. Here. Just because I think this is kind of funny. crazy I swear oh okay um and the thing is I don't actually remember where the next legitimate boss is wait so is this is this Um. All right, whatever. Wait, what the hell is this? I feel like I don't remember that, like, ever. But, so, the first time that I actually played this game, the f I looked up if I could play with the scythe, figured out I could play with the scythe, took the shortcut all the way around, skipped all of the bosses, and came to this uh church why you may ask well obviously 
Because... Once I go here... I can fight these skeleton boys that have sights. And luckily for me, they actually give the best scythe. If you're lucky, but it actually takes a lot of hits, or not lot hits, but like a lot of kills. Um, because like it's actually a really rare drop. And yes, I grinded it twice. Ah, uh, I remember now. So there's a key that I have to get right now. And honestly, there's a pretty badass mod that makes the game like a little bit harder, like challenging and all of that jig is. Um, I'll show you in a second. I don't want to spoil it too much. And I guess these things really do tell you where to go next, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Alright, time for us to face the scariest enemy of the g this game. Not those guys. Also, so the th the key that I need to get is being guarded by a monster. Which honestly I was totally going to ignore. But considering how fast I'm beating all the other bosses... I figured it's only right to actually fight it. Wait. Oh, we don't want that. I thought that was an item for a second. That's like a teleporter to some other place and it costs like those stone swords so and usually just a shortcut to some other place uh, that I'm not exactly concerned about and I'm pretty sure the key is right here in this direction not like in this exact area Sure, I guess I can talk to you. Over here. Hello. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? I couldn't tell. Just sent me off on an errand. Oh, but hot. I was accosted by a ruffian. Damn, I hate when that happens. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. I guess. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only he too is tarnished if you yeah, it's fine. qualms confronting your own oh what a blessing that we the thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way please i must have the necklace back uh i'll do that mission eventually maybe um so I'm right here, I'm pretty sure. Um actually I'm pretty sure the key's over here. And I'm gonna get the key first. And then we will fight the big beastie. Wait. I'm assuming there's something down here, actually. Um. Wait, what? Oh, that's so funny. The Wraith Calling Bell is just... The bell that summons this stuff. I already have it. I didn't realize I had to, like, actually go out of my way to find it, though. 
That's kind of crazy. Um. And dude, actually not having the place memorized is kind of cringe. Oh wait. Fair enough. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm going to keep going this way. Wait, oh, okay. Actually, I don't want to go on that yet. Actually, I might. <laughs> Ooh. You know what? We can do this. Most of this is just giving me duplicates of stuff. But I don't see a problem with that. Hello. That's rude. Don't you know I'm only allowed to heal? A Don, Eden. Wait, I actually don't think I fought this guy before. Nice. Yeah, I actually think that's new for me. Um, okay. I was half expecting there to be a, uh, yeah, one of these resting sites. Wait, how did I get all the way back here, man? How can one be so lost? <laughs> so we need a key to get into that big ass tower. Oh, these are the scary things. Holy shit. So me having arcane gives me a higher chance that it'll, it'll make them bleed. Me having a higher dex just makes it so I can do more damage with these weapons and also higher bleed. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, actually, I think it's down here. If it's not like right here. Oh, dude, that's so cringe. I think I can go underneath this, actually. Copium. Yeah, because if I do use that uh, burst of wind, then I won't be able to fall back down unless there's another one on the other side. <laughs> I guess I'll do it. Wait, I think I just needed to come up here. Yeah, okay, there we go. Wait, am I wrong? Oh, uh, whatever. Also, they nerfed the Bloodhound stuff. I'm just not remembering. It used to go like so much farther and be like, have so many more invincibility frames so I might end up changing my ability to something else dude every time this happens it looks so gorgeous alright dude I've gotten so close to seeing what the actual boss is Wait, 
Oh, I went to the wrong place. But I think regardless, I need to go here anyways. Um. Oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say I think I can parkour up that, but in that area so I can parkour down. Alright. That's kind of cute. See the lore? That guy almost fell off. But then he broke his chain. Oh, I thought there was going to be a chest there. Um. Yeah, but then he broke his chain. And now he just roams. For whatever reason. Dude, I don't know how I can be so confused. Um... Oh, that's how. And it's because I managed to go south, essentially the way that I came from, instead of north. I get it now. But we explored someplace new and fought a boss that I've never fought before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, at least. Alright. Let's -a go. There we go. This feels a lot better. Also, eventually we're gonna go to one of those earth trees. Actually, I think that one specifically is in the ocean. Oh dude, I can't open up the map at all. There we go. Uh, oh it's not. I don't even think there's a boss at that one, never mind. <laughs> I do think that is the first one that I'm supposed to run into. Oh hey. I definitely did not mean to run into you, but it works. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Ah. Mm. Well, show me, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. You're a shrewd one, she. First, you hand me the runes. Oh, a thousand? Sure. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. <laughs> Normally, if you refuse, then you just fight him, but I have the runes. Alright, I'm definitely going the right way. I think I'm gonna go get this key, actually go to that earth tree if I can, and then we'll go back to this castle. Damn, dude, I can't believe I actually had frame drops. Also, I feel like they buffed how the Raven cape looks. It looks metal as hell. And it looks like a lot more feathery than I remember. But who knows, maybe that's just me. Alright. And this dragon's actually kind of far away. Especially considering how lost we kept getting. Pretty sure that has nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that just resets your health stuff. Your health things. I like casually just whooping everyone that goes past me. Or I guess I go past. Uh. <laughs> Alright, you ready? And then we'll go for that boy. 
Um, okay, there we go. Ow. I wonder if that actually, um, can hit this bad boy. Dude. Honestly, after playing Dragon's Dogma, fighting dragons is kind of weird. Considering I can't just jump on it. Alright, that was the key. Oh god. Also, I fought like this weird ice and blight dragon. So this dragon is literally nothing to me. Like, regardless of... Uh... Oh my god, dude. Okay, I actually thought that was gonna go over me. Oh, he actually does so much damage. And I'll definitely show you guys the... dragon that I'm talking about. But I probably won't fight it again, because... Fighting it the first time was already hard enough. I like calling the dragon Smarrog. It reminds me of, like, Smog from The Hobbit. Oh god. Oh my god. The crazy thing is they, that totally should have killed me, considering how much damage everything else was doing. Easy. Okay, I get it, I get it. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Let's see what the tree has for me. Also, I don't know if I actually summoned my imps or not, but I don't think I did, because, um... Because they didn't lose it, I still have, like, full stamina, but also... I kind of think I did, because... Uh... I heard them dying. <laughs> but I guess I also never saw their health bar come up either. So who knows? Interesting. Oh yeah, I get the vibe that I'm supposed to go down here. Wait, I feel like this is new for me. Probably. Interesting. I don't know if this is going to lead me up or if this is just another bus. It's actually kind of weird. I genuinely don't remember this area. Why are there so many deaths here? Ah. That's why. Annoying ass gargoyles, man. Um. How? Dude, I just realized I actually don't want to die here. That means I would have to come back and... And get all of my souls back. Oh 
Why would you dare bloodlust me? Okay, I had a feeling. Um, yeah, okay, now we leave <laughs> as fast as we can. Yeah, I wanted to try the, uh... Oh, nice. I got a smithing stone. Holy. Wait, I think I've definitely never been here. I don't think I have that... Oh. Dude. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay, I just had to make sure. <laughs> I was gonna say, imagine not being OP as I am, but I'm pretty sure um, it would have kind of skilled essentially. Let's go see if I can figure out how to get to the top of this thing now. I don't know, man. I don't think there's a universe where I figure this out. But I am pretty sure this universe, I haven't actually been up there anyways. And so once I do figure it out... And then I might actually be unlocking something new. Maybe. Wait. Oh god. Okay, cool. Do you think the tree can bleed? Dude, I was gonna- I was trying to heal so bad. That's so cringe. Steak of Marika. Alright, give me a sec. Never mind, apparently he spawned me right in front of this guy. Flame, give me strength. Let's see how this goes. Oh god. Oh, okay. No, oh, I was definitely right to be scared of that move. The cool thing is I actually have that weapon too. Oh god. Holy. Oh. Hey yo, chill, man.
All right, bleed. <clears throat> oh, it's so cringe, actually. Dude, that move is so annoying. Oh, dude, that makes me sad. I really thought I was going to be able to fight the final boss, like, relatively easily. But now I'm actually worried. The only way I was able to beat the boss the first time was getting help from people. Which, I'm not scared to do again, but, like... I would obviously just prefer I, I didn't have to do that. You know? Oh, I thought I was going to dodge that, actually. Oh, I thought I could do the, do an aerial jump. Or, while well, that was happening. There we go. Is there anything here? Usually there's like a secret. Uh. Yeah, see, he didn't even drop anything. Oh, dude, I'm actually so mad. Uh, the reason I'm mad is because I lost all of my souls again. I'm like a giat damn fool. What does this say? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Dude, honestly, having to pick up souls after I die is something I'm gonna have to get used to again. Also, after this, I might... I might not do it right away, but I am probably gonna play all, a bunch of other um, Souls-like games. And by a lot, I basically mean all of them. If not, like, a huge chunk. Wait. I think this one's special. Erudition. I think I need an emote in front of you. Alright, whatever. How did someone get up there? <laughs> Wait, I actually really want to see what that says. Oh, whatever. Interesting. Imagine I actually came alive. Alright. I think one of the... Uh, one of the things that I want to grab is right here. Remember the other thing that I want to grab? Uh, it was like on the other side of the map. So I'm going to have to... And definitely get lucky with that. Let's see. There we go. Actually, I think this might also be another area that I've never been to. Hey. Actually, I don't think so. Yeah, I would have kept trying to go up there, but... And then I realized there was nothing up there. Um, I think I need to go through this area. I can't just climb up there. All right.
Oh, so one of the, the mod that I was talking about. Oh, so earlier I was talking about the mod when, like, when he was trying to get that key. The mod basically has it so uh, the dragon has the key inside of his mouth, which is insane. And like, you're able to like stagger the dragon and like just take it from its mouth while it's still alive. Which I thought was badass. And it also made it so if you're riding on the horse and then you can't like you can so all of that orange goo stuff is actually bad for you but if you're on the horse in the game and then you're fine but if you're in the horse in the dlc like the mod thing and then it actually like affects your horse and then you have to um like you have to just be more careful which is cool, but makes the game like more tedious, but it also makes it more realistic. So it's like an okay kind of tedium, you know? Please no. Dear me. <laughs> I don't know if you can kill this guy. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Don't lie to me. Please leave me be. Wait then. You're not one of them. Well, what a relief. Good thing now you just trust me. Oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric. Ooh. As you can see, we're finished. Sure. Oh, it does fair. village fra. is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. Yikes. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Even you? Would you look after this medallion? You oh, must of course. Of the hands. What a crazy coincidence. Wait. Oh, that's so cringe. I thought that was a different medallion. There's like... A guy that's kind of a boss over there. But also, like, definitely not. And he's just, like, an annoying dude. You know, I'll show you. Honestly, though, he's not the issue. The issue is... All of the friends that come with him. Let's assume you don't kill them first. Um. Oh, assuming I can find. Oh, okay. We actually had. Oh, okay. I remember now. Alright, boy. Yeah, see, I was gonna say he's not really a boss, but then I was like, I think I remember him actually having a health bar. Or else I wouldn't be calling him a boss. Holy shit. Alright, there we go. Oh dude, I tried pressing my mouse or my moving button to sprint because it's actually going to take me a second to get used to this again. Alright. But as soon I'm gonna do research to get to like the next area basically to get more of those medallions essentially 
And when I do that, I'm gonna do a kind of side story thing. And this time I'm gonna do the pacifist run. Or I guess, yeah, this, yeah, I don't remember what I did the first time. But sure as hell wasn't peaceful. I also think he was already dead before I could do anything, so that probably doesn't help either. Alright, let's do this. Oh, wait. I don't know why I thought it would spawn me on my horse. Mainly because I was already on it. Oh, dude, I pressed it. Like, I think it would have been on time. But. It didn't go through. Also, did you see that? My horse took the damage. But I didn't. Which is a perk of being on the horse. Not saying that I don't take full damage at all, just I take less damage most of the time. Alright. Time for one of, of like a pretty cool boss. Honestly, I think she's actually has one of the, the prettiest arena. But I think I'm a little bit biased. But... Hey, if you have good taste, like me, <laughs> and then I think you'll agree. Did I watch PewDiePie do this? And it was kind of funny because like, he spent like the longest time killing all of those flamethrower guys and like doing all of this stuff and like he spent so much time he spent like five or ten minutes actually like recording him in this area and like one video that was like an hour long i don't think he beat the game but he probably did honestly zero deaths <laughs> just like me obviously That is an area that we'll go to later. Ta da Hey dude, I'm pretty sure they put like way more textures in this cloak. I don't remember looking this badass. Okay, I was about to say, imagine if I was able to still use my horse here. Alright. Alright, those guys are such a problem. I'm honestly surprised that there's no one in trying to stop me. Also, this is super cute. This definitely looks like a boss fight. Oh, I thought that was the end of this area. Um... Oh, okay. Oh dude, this is kind of one of the worst areas. Not like, because of anything, just because there's always like a monster hiding in a bush somewhere and it's super tedious but it does also have one of like and the coolest uh I'm traveling points essentially yummy magic crease Um, I don't know if I want to go up there actually. Alright, whatever. Oh my god, dude. 
Okay, I'm actually surprised that that didn't do more damage. Like, throwing damage. Oh, cringe. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, I actually don't remember where I'm supposed to go. You know what? Let's grab this real quick. Oh, okay. We actually think this is the right area. It is Pog. It's because that elevator <laughs> has a lot of stops on it. So sometimes it's kind of hard to remember. Also, that item back there was is literally just like a set item that is like an armor piece or something. And it's not even that cool, so there's actually no reason for me to get it. I think I went the wrong way. In the sense that this is like, that's the most more dangerous side. Alright. You guys ready for me to kill Big Doggo? Ow. Double ow. Ow. I don't know why my thing just bounced off of him. Ow. Oh god. Fair enough. fighting this boss because I, as you could tell he like does that like I have to run all the way past all of those guys again and that's not something I like doing <laughs> oh dude that was stressful yeah that's fine I was gonna sit but I'm just gonna sit at the next one okay that's what I thought I'm gonna watch these skills, Ming. Uh, okay. I would have run off faster, but I didn't want to actually jump off and die. <laughs> That's kind of crazy I have that much health. I really thought I would have more space in that corner. It's whatever, though. Oh, interesting. Um, only relax. You do. This is one of the most cringe uh, shortcuts that you have to open because there's always some dude in the way too. This guy's kind of a boss, but also not really at all. Um, yeah, that's the issue with this shortcut. I have to fight this guy every single time. Holy dude. And of course he got on here. Ah, oh, that's actually so annoying. Oh, because even though everything resets when you die, elevators most definitely do not. All right, time for you guys to see the shortcut, I guess. 
And what I did all, put all that effort for. Squeeze me. Damn, that's actually mental. There's way too many people here. Also, I think my game's lagging a bunch because of all of the rain. Almost definitely because of all of the rain, actually. Uh, at least this guy, I think, the first time that I kill him, it's like, that's all I have to do. Dude, I'm so mad, actually. <gasps> Wait, that works, actually. That's so funny. I was going to run on the other side, but I was trying to open the, pull the lever by pressing the dodge button. And surprisingly, that didn't work. All right. Now I can go kill <laughs> the actual boss of this area, which is kind of a crazy thing to say. Considering that dog with the sword it was pretty brutal. At least the first time I did it. But yeah, I see. Homie's gone now. And now we wait. We go here so that no one can see me. Because I'm a sneaky boy. It's actually kind of crazy because stealth in this game is actually kind of an option. But if you know anything about me, stealth is not the way I do things. And plus, it takes too long. Are you guys ready for this boss fight? Look at this library, it's egregious. The issue with this boss fight is usually I kill it before- Oh, hot. I kill her before Um, I can see anything cool. I might let her do some attacks. But we'll see. But hello, I guess. How, how are you guys- Oh. Oh? Hush, hot. Little she just has a gripper out. Oh god, she has a baby. I'll soon this is awkward. A new, a sweeting, fresh and pure. I wonder how long she's had it. Kind of awkward. Um... I like seeing other people's ghosts in this, the middle of this fight. Oh wait, I forgot. Easy. Wait. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Girl, you thought. Oh, I was so close actually. Whoa, dude, imagine I actually die here. Wait, that's interesting. Oh, never mind. I thought, um, the singing girls. Oh, so by the way, the girls with like glowing around them is her weakness essentially. And, um, you can hear them singing usually. Ow. Wait, I feel like that's a new move. But a lot of the people that I watch were always super proud that they didn't even get hit by like a single book in their first stage. Which I mean is fair. Because usually you only have like two or three heals. Easy clap. Wait, I remember this boss being harder than this. 
kind of awkward. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you so fast. I wanted to show off some moose. Maybe next time. Oh, my beloved. Yeah. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born forever and ever. Go. Oh. What is Upon this? My name is Rani the Witch. Rani the Witch. Witch, witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. The 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 <laughs> foul trespasser. Per or er, sir, sir. Far and wide. Wide, wide, wide. Monka. Wait, where are we? I thought this was a library. Who? Of the full moon. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was talking about. You're in space in contract. water. So badass. What are you gonna conjure? Show me. So yeah, I'm gonna weaken her a bunch. It's actually super funny because like she's super weak to physical so if you're able to start hitting her then you start staggering her the whole time <gasps> until she does that chill all right like I said, I'm gonna get her low first. Uh, and then I'll let her just summon stuff. <gasps> Whoa, I've never seen her do that. Dude, that's crazy. That guy that she summoned actually clutched it up for her. I think I would have actually been fine if it wasn't for that specific spawn because he just like attacked me instantly. Oh, cringe. Oh, one sec. Alright. I switched to this weapon because I actually like it so much more. And honestly, I don't like the whoop as much as I thought I would. And like I said, not enough range. <laughs> I, we're gonna watch this cutscene again. I really like it. But yeah, see how much stronger it is? It's kind of crazy. But that's because it's like a legendary weapon. Ah, oh, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Ye will be countless born forever and ever. Monka. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure I messed up my save somehow. Because one, I feel like I play the game a lot longer, but two, I also remember having a different whip, or at least more whips than I do. Send word far and wide. Which I think is kind of strange that I don't have them. Of the last queen of and like, that was the first thing I noticed, but I just Renata didn't say anything about it. Oh shit. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Monka. Yeah, look how crazy this is. Come 
All right, we'll do one more hit. Yeah, I guess this works. I'll heal. See, it's an ogre. I think I can kill them. Okay, I can, but they'll probably despawn faster than I can kill them. Oh, hey, that's like actually one of the scary dudes. Holy. Wait, that's so funny. That ability, actually people unlock it and they make it, um, yeah, they can make it like one shot almost any boss. It's kind of nuts. There's one summon that I really want her to pull out. Let's see if she does it. I'll give her two more tries. Come, oh sworn giant. Giant? Oh. But yeah, the whip that I'm talking about is actually giant's hair. It's actually pretty badass. Alright, if the next spawn she uh, the next summon she gets isn't what I want, and then I'm gonna kill her. Don't disappoint me, woman. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna let her summon one more, actually. Because this is what I wanted. Maybe there's something else, but I think this is the coolest thing. Well, this reminds me so much of the Dragon's Dogma fight. Now that I think about it. <laughs> My, dear daughter, My dear daughter. Weave thy night into being. Boom. Um. Okay. Now is actually when I'm gonna go get Where the other think, stuff. My sweetings come out from whence ye hide. Yeah, apparently now she's my friend, no. Ah, thou is it it is me to be born to become a sweeting. Uh now. Nah. So 